um, I'm trying to turn this with an Delta 98N and my Arduino Nano. And that's a pretty stupid idea from the start um, because I should be spinning this with an ESC. However, I don't have one, and an Alta 98 and is all I have, and I wonder, well, this is a brushless motor, just like a stepper motor. I got this rigged up. Just like a stepper motor. So, why not try to turn it? Because it's just pulses going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Guess I can hit a sweet spot with settings and stuff. Alright, so... Let's start it. I have this Arduino Nano running this program right now, waiting for my JavaScript uh, message sending thing to connect. Basically, accept serial uh, input to control a stepper motor, and this JavaScript script is what produces it. So I will start it right now. All right, and I will turn on my power supply. All right, and then now. I will type in a command. So move 1,000 steps um, with a two millisecond interval. So this doesn't really matter right now. The 1,000 doesn't matter. It's just how long it wants to spin. But the two is a really important thing because it's the interval between each step, and it determines how fast you want it to you want to make it. So let's start it now. So you're gonna hear the motor start to buzz. And you just need a little encouragement like like this. Um, oopsie. Let me make it run for for longer. There you go. You can hear it running like Okay. And sometimes it can run at one if it's in a good mood. There you go. Very rarely it does zero. I haven't seen it do zero, but theoretically it might. My L N is getting really hot. Okay, there you go. It's not doing zero. It doesn't want to. Uh, let me turn off my power supply before everything burns. Because there's a few problems with this I will note uh, later. So, this is obviously the big heat sink. It's... Uh, like just plopped on top of this L298 and heatsink because I don't have any mounting system for that. So that's a demonstration of the spinning of this thing. Turn on again. Make it spin at a slower speed. Let's make it spin at um, 20 millisecond um, interval. It'll start spinning by itself usually. Okay, never mind. Okay, so a 20 millisecond interval relies on the momentum of this thing. So, pretty complicated stuff. That's why you need a an, an ESC, right? Now, again, pretty stupid idea, this, right? You need an ESC. That is a proven thing for this. Uh, you make your own ESC or you buy an ESC. So, that's the first problem with that. Second problem is that... <clears throat> Some of the coils right here, I presume, get really hot and they, like, when it's idling. Um, and you're trying to spin it at a really fast rate. And they get really hot and start oscillating. And the frequency gets higher and higher and higher and higher. And that's probably because of thermal runaway. So it gets, like, ear-piercing. Ear-piercing frequency. So I just emergency shut off my thing. So yeah, that's it. Uh, another problem, again, momentum. It needs momentum. You can only spin like this for for um, smaller stuff. Uh, I mean, smaller load. Um, but it needs momentum from the little platter here because it has some gravity to it uh, in order to keep spinning on lower speeds. And yeah, this gets pretty hot. That's the fourth problem. Both of these get pretty hot. That's why I have this fan hooked up here, and it's pretty loud if you turn it on. Um, so yeah. Well, basically that's it. For quick little video of a stupid idea I have. Thanks for watching.